Hi, I'm Riley Capps. I'm an emergency medical technician and reporter in Denver, Colorado. And I have a really good story for you today. It's about, in part, octopuses doing ecstasy. Um, and the Johns Hopkins neuroscientist who gives MDMA to octopuses, which is a pretty cool job. Her name is Gould Dolan, and she is coming up with some really impressive theories, not only about what happens when you give MDMA to octopuses, but about the way psychedelics work. Um, and the story is also about how we tend to devalue, in Gould's eyes, and there's evidence for it, the way we tend to devalue female scientists. We don't listen to their discoveries. So I hope you'll enjoy the story. I think it's really important. Um, I think it says a couple of fundamental things about who we are and how we relate to nature. Um, one of the most important things is that we are closer to nature than we generally think. Octopuses are extremely different from us. They are as separated from us as sea slugs. And yet, if you give them MDMA, they cuddle and love on each other just like we do. So that suggests that the ability to connect is fundamental to animals of all kinds. And the second thing that her octopus study showed that was super interesting was that we may be talking about psychedelics and MDMA in kind of an incomplete way. Um, we often talk about them as changing the amygdala in the brain, but octopuses don't have amygdalas. So MDMA must be doing something at a more fundamental, more basic level. And Gould's theory is that it is doing something called reopening the critical period. This is sort of like plasticity, where the brain can make new connections, but it is distinct and it is something that may become one of the ways we talk about psychedelics in the future, um, in that it is returning your brain to sort of a younger state, sort of, uh, you'll see the world the way you did when you were a baby, this bright, wide-eyed, uh, wondrous way of seeing the world. And, um, then that at the neurological level, that's about reopening the critical period. So I hope you'll read the story. I it, think it's one of the most important stories I've ever written. And it does include stuff about giving octopuses ecstasy, which is, I don't know about you, but I can never read enough about that. Uh, and this is, again, is for uh, the Women in Psychedelics series uh, at Chikruna for this week. I hope you read it. I hope you're doing well. And um, thanks for clicking.